Okay, first of all, I want to apologize for uh, my uh, number two uh, cutting off. It uh, my battery died, and I got to learn how long the battery is gonna last, or make sure that I got a full battery before I start filming. But uh, what I did was I decorated another envelope and this one is going to be a flip and I'm going to put it on the page and glue this top part down so it'll flip up and then we're going to have another envelope here with a pocket and this one's going to have a pocket so we'll have a uh, pocket here to put things and then we'll have a pocket in the other envelope. So where I left off yesterday we was putting pages in this uh, envelope where the uh, where we had the pages already set in. And then we need to decorate this up here and I thought, well, it, before I knew it, that the video had cut off, I put my envelope over here, and not sure right now what we're going to do with this one, where we're going to leave it open, or where we're going to seal it and just use it as a pocket. But we'll have to decorate this part and this part. And I want to do this whole sheet with you, and then you can take it from there. And if you want to um, make you a, a whole journal of envelopes, or just use this, use one as a sheet in, in a journal, uh, then you'll know what I'm doing or you want to do it my way or not. <clears throat> I'm going to put a piece of burlap up here. I found my burlap. And this is what it looks like. And this is the corn bag uh, weave. And then, like I said yesterday, now if they uh, had fertilizing uh, in a burlap bag, they had a closer weave because the fertilizer would come through these weaves. Because you can almost see through this, you can see through it when you hold it up. You could use it for a screen in a, <laughs> in a window because you can see through it. But I like to. I like to pull a few strings out where I'll have them uh, ruffle around it. And then we're going to glue this down right here. And I'm, I'm going to brush this on. I put my collage and paper mache in a little tub like this so I can brush it on. And with uh, burlap, you need the thinner glue to where you can get down in the leaves and get it where it won't fray no more than you want it to fray. You hear my assistant? She's talking to the birds this morning. The birds start singing and she starts wanting to know if she can help them. Her name is Rosie, and I can't shut her up, so she'll just hush in a few minutes. She just wants me to know that all the birds are singing this morning. Okay, that's the burlap down. When I use burlap, I like to use lace. So we're going to put us a piece of lace there.
Oh, when you layer, always make a, uh, you layer on top, smaller than the one on the bottom so you can see. You want to be able to see every layer that makes it uh, prettier. And I'm going to turn this this way so you can see that burlap better. You can put now some of that glue is going to come up from that uh, burlap and uh, soak into that lace. So that will help hold the lace too. But we need uh, one more thing we got well, we can call our uh, collage layer the burlap layer and then the lace layer so we'll have three layers plus we put our uh, flower or whatever we want on it and I'm going to use another flower from uh, from Christine's pack This is the 3D um, hat from Christine Adams. And let's see, since we got flowers here, and uh, I think we'll put a put a flower to match. And this flower's got a a bug and a butterfly. So. That'll be nice. They're stickers. So you don't have to worry about having glue. But the glue's not going to hurt them. So we put our flower down. Got a little, another little flower to go around it. I have to put something down on it to hold it so that because uh, with the burlap and the lace it's hard to keep it down to start with but it'll stay down it's because I used that uh, thinner glue on them I got a bug I think I'm going to put the bug on the flower. You can see it better. The bugs like flowers. The butterflies like flowers. I don't know where a bug and a butterfly would be on the same flower or not. But we're going to put it on there so you can see it good. And we're going to call this page finished on this side. But now on the other side, we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll decorate the bottom part of it. And then, uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to glue this and make a, a pocket out of the envelope. And before I knew that, the uh, camera had went off yesterday. I made a little booklet. A little book. It's not quite dry. But I just took some of the six by four pages and doubled them so I could bend them in the middle and I uh, made the booklet and then I put the coffee dyed and the Kool-Aid dyed paper 
on the pages where he could write on them. And you put stickers on each page, and, uh, or you could put a little uh, rhyme or a phrase or anything to decorate the pages. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's morning. I'm, I'm in a little trouble talking, but um, praise the Lord, I'm okay. And then this uh, little booklet, we're going to leave with the burlap and lace. We're not going to put nothing else on there because it's going to go down in this envelope. We're going to go down in that envelope when the glue dries on it. We're going to wait until the glue dries before we'll have a pocket there. Okay, and like I said, I apologize for uh, the last one cutting off on me. And I want to talk a little bit about my hands. I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me because they see my hands. My hands don't hurt. They have arthritis in them. But the drawing part was over the years, and they hurt some while they were drawing, but... I don't have any trouble with them now because I'm taking medicine to help relieve the the stress that the arthritis is putting on my hands. But now the uh, my skin, if you want to know about that, there's two things. When I was young, I worked out in the fields. I was we farmed and. When you work out in the sun and lay out in the sun without sunblocker on, you're going to have bad skin when you get older. So I'm warning you now. But it's, this is uh, what the, doc, the dermatologists call cotton picking skin because I pick cotton and uh, hoe peanuts and stack peanuts and all. And I didn't have any gloves or anything on my hands. And then the other spots you see is uh, because I have to take a blood thinner for my heart because I have a heart failure. But um, don't feel sorry for me because I'm uh, better right now than I am in a in, at a lot of times, I'm breathing with oxygen, but I'm breathing good. And I have a home health nursing, and then I have my son and his uh, girlfriend that takes care of me. They uh, make sure that I have everything I want or everything I need. But I thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.